biotech grew up here in Massachusetts. Massachusetts was really just the perfect storm for success. And a lot of that started with the incredible relationship between industry, academia, and government. This is where it all started. Massachusetts has the ecosystem that's been long established and long standing, and it really removes a lot of unknowns for companies. That allows them to focus on their core business instead of focusing on navigating uncharted territory. The industry started here in the late 70s, early 1980s, and because of that head start, has just built this incredible wealth of knowledge and expertise around biotechnology and the life sciences. Massachusetts is really the best place in the world for life sciences, and for so many reasons. We have a robust early stage innovation ecosystem. We have 19 of the top 20 biopharmas with an established presence here in Massachusetts. We are in a healthcare hub in the East Coast in Massachusetts, especially Boston and the surrounding areas. The people and the ideas and the partnerships in Massachusetts are top notch and world class. And so I think that you surround yourself with thought leaders and world class business partners and a network that sets you up for success. Massachusetts is home to some of the most elite institutions and, and pharmaceutical companies and biotechs in the world. And the fact that they are all concentrated in one area makes it really conducive to growing a business. If you get down to some of the basis, you've got unbelievable companies and talent, but to really kind of create an environment for those companies to be and to be here and to thrive in, in Massachusetts. There is the need to have bricks and mortar that can support pretty sophisticated needs in research. Over the years, the expertise across the spectrum from finding a space, designing a space, engineering it, building it, and then servicing these types of operations, there's just this incredible depth of expertise that supports the industry. And so from large to small companies, it's a welcoming atmosphere. You will find all the range of expertise you need to build, design a facility here in Massachusetts without parallel. Massachusetts today has over 35 million square feet of biopharma lab space and manufacturing space. In just the last 10 years, Massachusetts has seen 16 million additional square feet of lab space and biomanufacturing space built in Massachusetts. And for context, that is more space than exists in terms of labs and manufacturing in the competitor states. We think that companies also see the value in keeping manufacturing close to the place of invention and you see a lot of companies now taking a hub and spoke approach to their research and development and their manufacturing. That allows them to monitor the scaling up of their manufacturing via the scientists who founded the therapy. Something that's really exciting that we're seeing is the growth and expansion of biomanufacturing here in Massachusetts. And it's really truly going to be the future of the life science industry here. Often when people think of Massachusetts, they automatically think of Cambridge and Boston, but there are so many incredible hubs of life science here in Massachusetts. Think about Lexington, Waltham, Worcester, the North Shore, Western Mass. These are incredibly concentrated life science hubs with everything a company would need to succeed. Life science real estate development is really happening in quite a few areas. We have communities that have gone through the process of learning about the industry, being ready to welcome these types of facilities. They're not downtown Boston, and not downtown Cambridge. They're at better price points for these types of facilities, and they're being located in bio-ready rated communities. As we work further west, that's really where biomanufacturing starts to come into play. So these projects tend to be, and these facilities tend to be very large scale and single story in nature. They're still able to take advantage of this incredible workforce that we have in, in Massachusetts. Everything located within an hour, hour and a half of the core of the industry. 
Now what we're seeing is with cell and gene therapy facilities, they're, they're smaller, they're modular, and we're, we're seeing a lot more of them. Everywhere from Dorchester to Framingham to Waltham to Bedford, it's everywhere you can find a building that has some good bones, has access to a lot of power, and can be converted quickly. You've had that incredible growth in the last 10 years, and there's still more room to grow, more opportunity to grow these facilities here in Massachusetts. Massachusetts, in terms of the life science world and medical research, is just a thriving economy. We've got the housing, the schooling, the educational systems in place that are great for families that are going to come here. We've got a talent pool that just continues to grow and build on itself. Massachusetts has everything a company would need from day one. We have incredible resources around economic development to help find the space that's right for your company, both with Mass Econ and Mass Bio and so many other partners here in Massachusetts. And the opportunity for growth supported by really strong incentives from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts through the Massachusetts Life Sciences Center that is focused only on the development of the industry in Massachusetts. So specific incentives that support life science projects exclusively. Another differentiator for Massachusetts in terms of the development of these spaces. Companies, architects, contractors, developers have been at this for a long time here. They have a lot of experience with it. They're not just really good at, at building. They understand the industry, so it allows them to more quickly understand what the client needs are. It becomes an efficient process. It gets done the right way the first time. You've got specialization here like no other, and all they work on is life science facilities, and that just leads to less mistakes, higher predictability, and better results. So the wealth of expertise you have here in Massachusetts is incredible. And that deep level of knowledge allows Massachusetts to build the most incredible biopharma facilities anywhere in the world. King Street Properties is the largest privately held and locally based owner and developer of life science real estate in the greater Boston market. Our tenants range from big biopharma companies to, to smaller companies. Takeda, Bristol-Myers Squibb are a couple of our bigger tenants. Pathways is our new product line, and Pathway gets its name from us helping companies navigate more quickly the process of getting to build out biomanufacturing space. This will really help companies save time in terms of not having to evaluate existing structures to retrofit, and it'll really help their speed to occupancy. We think it saves companies about 18 months. We can help companies navigate that unknown, and a lot of these companies, when they get to the point of needing manufacturing space, that's the first time in that company's history they've ever needed it, and we have a lot of experience with that, so we can help them navigate that uncharted path with our solution. We are a 45-year-old locally owned commercial cleaning company that cleans and maintains about 55 million square feet of Class A office, biotech, and life science space. We work with literally hundreds of biotech clients here in this area. So we've worked with anybody from small startups coming out of incubators, the incubators themselves, to some of the largest biomanufacturers in the area. Janotronics Building Services has spent literally hundreds of thousands of dollars investing in training our people to make sure that they understand the intricacies of biotech and biopharma cleaning. Ultimately, the spaces that we're cleaning are where drugs are produced that go into patients' bodies. And there are just no mistakes that can be made when you're working in that kind of environment. MassBio is the life science trade organization here in Massachusetts. We have over 1,400 member companies, and our mission is to really advance Massachusetts leadership in the life sciences, grow the industry, bring value to the healthcare system, and improve patient lives. So MassBio is really the launch pad for any company looking to grow here in Massachusetts. We have incredible resources from industry and public connections to robust services offered to our companies through MassBio. Through the MassBio Edge, we provide our companies with competitive, pre-negotiated agreements, preferred terms and conditions, and 
best-in-class customer service on products and services that are vital to their growth and success. MassBio has something to offer for companies at every stage of their growth, and something we're really prideful about is how we support our early-stage innovation community. At MassBio, we support over 20 incubators that represent over 260 startups. We're able to provide them all the tools and resources and support those companies need to mature and become successful biopharma companies here in Massachusetts. All we do is focus on life science. We work with Big Pharma. Right now we're working with Eli Lilly on their needs in Cambridge. We also spend a lot of time in the early to mid-stage companies that are evolving and growing significantly. It just allows us to start with a company and grow with them over the years. Vibologix was a German company that was really acquired by a local private equity company, Ampersand, and they saw an opportunity to create an entity in the U.S. with the company and make it more substantial. They identified and wanted to evaluate the whole East Coast. At the end of the day, it ended up in Boston. Part of that reasoning was the access to talent and the real estate. There were more opportunities here that really fit their needs. That was a search that kind of proved out that Massachusetts is the place that companies want to be. What we try to do in the beginning with our clients, not only understand what their business plan is and build a plan around that and build a budget, and we work with our design partners to design to that budget. We have architects and engineers in-house, and then our field and construction expertise is this is all we've been building for 30 years. And one of the things we pride ourselves on is long-term relationship with companies. We have a client that we've been with in the last, you know, for 11 years. They started, we built their first facility. It was 9,000 square feet. And then they got a little bigger. We figured out how to move them into 30,000 square feet and then 100,000 square feet and 150,000 square feet. And, and that is all great for our business. But I think the coolest part of all that is they got a drug to market. And in our little world, we feel like we help them get there. And we like to say we help great companies help patients. And that's, that's probably the best part of my job. I think Massachusetts is going to continue to do very well and be very competitive. Research hospitals, universities, venture capital, that's not going anywhere. There's no MIT anywhere else in the world. There really is an infinite number of opportunities beyond the core, and we see more and more development happening. Developers, engineers see the opportunity of that business. So I think that drives people to be really good because they want to get the next project, they want to get the next company. It's the best place in the world to create. In no place in the world will you find an ecosystem that supports every type of life science project like you have in Massachusetts, from small startups to the largest types of global biopharmaceutical companies. There is a place for you in Massachusetts.